Good morning. Happy Saturday, everybody. I am just waiting for this all to connect up and then we'll get started. So let's see what we've got here. Yay, we're live. All right, so I'm just gonna refresh my chat, see who we have on this morning. Looks like we have a couple people, so let's get started. I'm Brenda Hillard. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I absolutely love the art of stamping and paper crafting, and I'm glad you're here this morning. As I call it, Coffee and Create with Brenda, so I've got my... Actually, I have my Las Vegas mug this morning. Um, it's going to be a beautiful day here. I'm located in north central Minnesota, and... I am going to get out on the lake on my floaty today and just enjoy the day. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to flip down to my workstation. And I have a couple of things. So, and I'm not going to elaborate long, but my team members, Sandy Mainz and I, are hosting a fall retreat. It's going to be on October 2nd. You can go out to createwithbrenda.com and you will um, see the registration form there. So early bird registration ends on Tuesday, August 2nd. So register now, save $10. Um, and we hope to see you at the event. If you are not local and would like to join in, we have a retreat to go. And the retreat to go will include demonstration videos. They're private videos exclusive to um, our registrants. So anyway, check that out, createwithbrenda.com. We would love to have you join us. The other thing that has been going on at Stampin' Up! is celebration. And I want you to stay tuned. I think there's going to be a pretty big announcement coming about um, the offerings with celebration this next week. So be sure to, like I said, be sure to stay tuned. All right. So that's going on. The other thing that's exciting, of course, is the mini catalog, July through December. Um, today's card that I'm going to show you is going to feature, now this is the inside of that July through December mini catalog. I'm going to share with you a simple fun fold using the suite of products called Storybook Gnome. Now. I wasn't thinking that I had to have this in the beginning. And then I saw all these sweet little gnomes popping up everywhere. And it was like, ah, I want this. So let me show you what's all in the suite of products. And then I'll show you what I'm going to be using today. So here's the paper, you guys cute paper even if you don't get the gnome bundle with the stamps and dies they are very easy to cut out and the paper is adorable 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 now i grabbed a couple sheets of the there's a page that looks like this look at all the gnomes on there and then there's a sheet that looks like this and has all of the mushroom homes so here's the bundle the stamp set I'm going to tip it a little bit. I've got a bad reflection. You get these four different little gnomes, one with a lantern. One's just kind of holding his head. The other's standing there in his cute little moccasins. And then, um, or earth shoes, maybe they are. Earth shoes. And look at the braids on this one. How cute is that? So, the dies. There are dies to cut out all four of the gnomes. There's the mushroom die to cut out their home. You get this cute little textured beard if you wanna add that. You get some noses, some mushrooms, and then of course their little hat. 
And this piece right here, if you stick that in there, you can turn them into gnome tags or ornaments for your tree. So be sure to check this out. It's a really cute set. The sayings are super adorable. And let's get started on the other products. Pro products in my project. Wow, that was a lot of words. I'm going to be using these snowflakes from the Christmas lights. Um, the other products that are in that um, storybook gnome suite is the puff paint. This is fun. Makes a really cute accent on the gnomes. Um, beard. It also is really, really fun to use on the trees. So stay tuned. I'll be doing some projects using the puff paint. One thing I will tell you is when you use this, you want a very fine line. And so I have taken my bottle and emptied it out into one of these needle tipped bottles. I just order these off from Amazon, but um, it works really, really nice for fine tip. And then with the puff paint, once you put your fine line down, you need the heat tool to heat it up to get it to puff. It's really, really cool. Who have I got out there this morning? I can see viewers, but for whatever reason, my chat isn't showing me who's out there. And the other thing in the suite of products is this adorable balmy blue ribbon. They are calling it a double stitched ribbon because it has the twill, but then it also has like a little satin on there. And look at how cute the bows are. I, I really like it. I think it's super cute. And then last but not least, they have the um, fine sparkle adhesive back gems. And as you can see, the colors in the gems coordinate beautifully with the the paper and we all know everybody talks about it color coordination at Stampin Up is is the the top they are the the king of the hill when it comes to color coordination all right so let me show you the project we're going to do today here's my inspiration i showed this to you last week this was a swap card that i received from stacy kratz and I've seen her do this layout before, and it's really, really cute. So it flips up like this. Mine is a little bit different, but like I said, my inspiration was Stacey, from Stacy Kratz. So thank you, Stacy. Here's my, what do you call it? Like your prototype. This was my first one using the gnomes. So in, instead of just plain white cardstock like on the inspiration I used the designer series paper I die cut one of the gnomes along with the mushroom home and then on the inside I made just a white flap with the thank you I used the mushroom dies and then added some designer series paper back here. I thought it just gave it a little more, I don't know, a little more color. What do you think? And the one that we're going to do here in just a few minutes is even a little bit different yet. So let's get started. Here's what you're going to need. I have a medium envelope with a piece of designer series paper that measures two and a half by six. I used the stamp and seal, and I'm just going to cut along the flap, or using the flap as my template. And you've seen me do this so many times because you know the, the saying here at Create with Brenda, no naked envelopes. Your envelopes need to be as pretty as your cards. So if you just cut along the flap using it, I guess I missed a little bit here. Using your flap as a template, you then end up with 
a pretty, pretty matchy envelope, right? Good morning, Sharon. I'm glad you're here again this week. These little gnomes have stole my heart. Okay, so out of the paper that I showed you, I cut out one of the gnomes and I cut out one of the gnome homes. I have two pieces of basic white that measure three and three quarter by three and three quarter. I have two pieces of designer series paper. One measures four inches by five and a quarter and the other is three quarter inch by five and a quarter. And if you notice when I flip these over, it's the same paper that I used on my prototype, okay? I have a piece of balmy blue that measures four inches by four inches, and another piece of balmy blue that measures five and a half by eight and a half, and we're going to score this at four and a quarter. So let's do that. I'm just gonna flip this around, put my cutting blade up at the top, and four and a quarter. Using my scoring tool, which is the light gray, I'm just going to go ahead and score my card at four and a quarter, all right? So now I'm going to take my score line and I'm going to match that up with the one inch mark, okay? And because, of, because I'm using the Stampin' Up trimmer, paper trimmer, I can see my one inch mark right here, so it works out perfectly. And I'm going to now take the dark gray and cut. So I have this piece that I've removed. And we're done cutting for now. So what I'm gonna do then is fold that one inch flap over. I'm gonna take my bone folder and just give that a really good crease. So now my card looks like this. I'm gonna take that three quarter by five and a quarter inch piece, and instead of the mushrooms this time, I'm gonna use these snowflakes. I think these are so pretty. And just using my stamp and seal, I'm going to add some adhesive. And I'm gonna center that on that one inch flap. Okay, let's take our four by four square and our three and three quarter by three and three quarter inch basic white. And these are going to layer on top of each other like so. I'm not gonna do it yet because I want to stamp on there but we can take our piece of four by five and a quarter designer series paper. I'm going to add stamp, woo, picking up stuff. Add stamp and seal on the back. And I'm just going to center this on the inside of the card base. So now it looks like this. Isn't this paper gorgeous? Good morning, Jessica. Thank you for joining. All right. See how distracted I get when I look up at the look up at the um, viewers. All right. So our next step is this. We're going to bring in our dies and our the big boss, the stamp and cut and emboss. So you guys, I'm still using the magnetic plate, which they've stopped selling. And remember I told you I wasn't having any problems with mine. Well, now you can see I've got problems. It's starting to, to pull away and warp. And that's why they no longer sell this, which is really sad because there's nothing better than a magnetic plate when you're working with dyes. I'm just going to put the die on the gnome. I love saying gnome home, have you noticed? And then I've got my little, whoops, do I have the wrong guy? 
yeah, I have the wrong guy. So let's get the right die out here. Let's try this one this time. Yeah, that's gonna work. But don't you love how the paper coordinates with the dies? And this makes it so fast and easy for creating because all of the coloring, everything is done. So you just die cut and wait till you see how cute these are. Like I said, I wasn't a I wasn't a big fan in the beginning here, but I have I have found a new love for these little gnomes. Okay, so I've got the mush the gnome home and the gnome. So I'm just gonna put my dies in my in my metal bowl. That way they stay right where I want them. Okay, what are you thinking so far? I know, Sharon, the coordinating is so good, isn't it? All right, so let's do this. I'm going to take my mushroom, my gnome home, and I'm gonna put that right down on I just kind of want to do the mushroom first and I don't want everything to be and I want to make sure that when I put this on and it's attached to the card I don't want my my gnome home to be under that flap so I'm just gonna kind of do a little kind of a layout here for me there we go do you see what I did? So I lined this up at the bottom. I've got my Whisper White. What? Basic White. Where did Whisper White come from? That's from years ago. But I didn't want this mushroom under the flap. So I just kind of lined it up and then and then used the adhesive to or to adhere it to the basic white. I'm mumbling, sorry. Okay. So this is why I didn't attach all of this because I'm gonna stamp on this piece now and we still have a chance to fix it if we do something different or if our stamp doesn't turn out just like we want it. So I'm going to be bringing in the Warm Wishes, which that seems weird on an 85 degree day that you're wishing somebody warm wishes, but I wanted this one to have a little bit of a a Christmas, a holiday flare. So I'm just going to stamp the warm wishes. Okay. I'm going to leave the ink out. I'm going to flip my little gnome over and add some dimensionals to the back. And you know me in my dimensionals, but I don't want my I don't want a saggy, saggy little gnome on the front of my card. Okay, so then I'm gonna do my take your pick tool and take all my backings off. Slickest tool ever. I'm gonna pop him up here right by his home. Isn't he cute? I know, I love it. Then remember I told you from the Christmas lights stamp set, I wanted to use these little snowflakes. So I've got those mounted on an acrylic block and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the Pacific Point ink, which is what I stamped the sentiment in. And I'm just going to add a few little snowflakes. All right, put that to the side so I don't get my card in it. And now we can add our adhesive to the back of our focal point here. And I'm just going to center this making sure that all my borders 
are even. Fun, fun, fun. Mm, I don't know what I've got going on here. Some, some troll. Anyway, I'm sorry, you guys, that they're on here. I know, Nancy, I love, I love the gnomes, too. They're just too fun. All right. So this part, I'm going to take my stamp and seal. I'm just going to put it right across the top of my card there. I'm going to match up the bottom. And just to make sure I'm all the way at the bottom, I tip it up like that so that the counter or the tabletop helps me keep it lined up. I'm going to flip it down. And then we have that fun fold. Isn't it cute? Anyway, Nancy, if you want to call me today, I have um, some information for you regarding the gnomes. So give me a call or I can swing over or you're welcome to swing over whatever you'd like. You guys, this is the in color um, twine, Baker's twine. And I just thought this was kind of the right, the right amount of bling for on here. As you can see on my prototype, I used the twine. I felt like this one was more earthy with the mushrooms and the, and the whatnot. And so I'm gonna tie this around. You guys, ignore our troll in the comments. Once this is over, I will go in and delete whoever that is out. You're not welcome here, so I don't like that. It's something new that started happening with, with viewers and comments, but I'll get rid of them. Or her, or whatever it is, them. All right. So I'm just going to trim that off. So there's that. Cute, right? Do I get a thumbs up? I know. I love it. Remember, you guys, thumbs, hearts, and comments help people find me on Facebook. So it's much appreciated when you do that. Okay, so now for the inside of our card, I'm going to take that other three... Remember we had two of the three and three quarter by three and three quarter inch pieces. So I've got that right here. I'm gonna bring in the Pacific Point ink again. And I have this cute little saying from the gnomes that says Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So I'm going to ink that up. And remember you wanna move it around on your pad so that you get a good covering and then I'm just going to stamp it in the middle cute 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 and then lastly we'll take those snowflakes again wherever I put them hm. little snowflakes where did you go Honest, you guys, my area isn't that big. And it's on a block. So I've got the warm wishes, the Merry Christmas. Oh, man. Give me just a second. I know it's right here, but I'm just not, not seeing it. There it is. Okay, a little bit of snowflakes on here. Cute, cute. You know what else would really jazz this up? All right, so I had told you I was going to use these, but I think I just changed my mind. I did. Let me grab them and let's see if, let's see what they look like. 
always fun to change stuff up, you know. All right, look at these. They're, they call them adhesive backed stars. But I think they kind of look like snowflakes. Let's open them up. Let's see what we got. Okay. Ooh, yeah. I think these are going to be really pretty on their watch. We'll just give them... Well, I'm going to give him one on his hat. And let's give him another one over here by the mushroom. And maybe one more small one mixed in with... Okay, enough on that one. And let's do... Let's do a couple right on here, too. Why not? That's why we have embellishments, right? Oh, yeah. That adds a really good sparkle to our card. I like it. So those, you guys, are the adhesive-backed stars. You saw how easy they were to use. So what do you think about those stars? I like them. All right. I'm going to add some adhesive on here, maybe. All right. And now to get this on the inside is what I do is I flip it up and you'll be able to see the edges. So I just kind of make sure that I'm in there inside these edges coming down and then make sure that my border is straight and just press it in and down so it hides under that flap. So there we have it with our matchy matchy envelope. And again, this is the Storybook Gnomes out of the Stampin' Up! July through December mini catalog. If you don't have a catalog, remember I put the link down below so you can request a catalog anytime. And then here was my, my prototype. So, mushrooms, look at the cute dies. Remember the dies coordinate with the designer series paper. And then this one, Christmas. All right, you guys, I think it is time for me to get my beach bag packed and get ready to get out on my floaty. Hope to see you out there, Nancy. Have a great weekend, everybody, and until next week. Bye for now.